And now to that talk about getting back to school. The governor says it can happen for fall, but things are going to look different. Yeah, some staggered schedules and back to school shopping will have to include face coverings. Heading your side's Andy Fox has this update for us tonight. Andy? Tom and Anita, Governor Northam said school will resume in the fall in a phased in approach and there will be some school during the summer and there are situations for that. Each locality will have a say in how they reopen. This is a work in progress. Social distancing is an issue in determining whether the school buildings are open or online learning continues and it could be a combination of both. All Virginia schools will be able to reopen with in person instruction in some capacity this fall, Northam said, but the experience will look different. The governor's office also says sports is important, can resume on Friday. Internet intentional contact sports, no. Accidental contact sports, yes, in phase two beginning Friday. All Virginia schools will open for students next year, but the school experience will look very different. These phases will allow in-person instruction, but slowly. We'll start with small groups, and we'll allow each school division the flexibility that it needs to respond to the needs of its own locality. You have your own bat, you have your own helmet. There's not shared equipment in baseball. Certainly there is some incidental contact that we recognize. Uh, football, high school football, folks should be training right now, getting ready. I don't know what will happen with the high school season down the road. But certainly quarterbacks can be thrown to receivers. Receivers are wearing gloves. That's kind of common sense. There's ways to train uh, and structure your practices without having intentional contact. With shared equipment with soccer, it's a very easy to structure a practice to avoid, for example, having throw-ins. Right? So weight training can also resume. Of course, you heard there no sharing of equipment. And what is also clear tonight is that we don't know exactly how all of this will play out with all of the sports, but they are saying, according to the governor's office, that sports can continue in on Friday. And if you want to read more about this, if you want some more of the nuances of what is going to be phased in, go online to wavy.com. We have all of the information for you there. So big news for the school system and also for school sports. That's the latest in Virginia Beach. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.